when they made that turn, the cop car came like a bat out of hell and smashed into him. Tonight, two men in their 70s are suing LAPD after a violent crash left them hospitalized. The KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers at the desk. Now, Mike, you just spoke with an attorney yeah. representing the brothers. Yeah, Pat, you know, we covered this story the night that it happened. We had heard the officer needs help call come out over the radio, and we sent SkyCal over there to check it out. I want to show you video from that scene. This is in the 5600 block of Balboa Boulevard in the Lake Balboa area. Now, what we've learned since then is an LAPD Valley traffic officer. Now, according to the LAPD, they say that that officer heard a car with some loud exhaust and was trying to catch up to that car when it came into the intersection here in Columbus collided with that red Toyota. What we know now is inside of that red Toyota are two brothers in their 70s. The Paper brothers were coming home from dinner with their other brother when they were broadsided by the LAPD cruiser. I had a chance to speak with that attorney tonight. I want to show you some photos that he gave to me of that Toyota. They say data recovered from the LAPD cruiser shows that that officer was driving at 80 miles an hour just moments before the crash. By the way, the posted speed limit on that road is only 45 miles an hour. The lawsuit also alleges that the officer was not responding lights and sirens, was not responding code three when that collision occurred. What makes matters worse is that this officer is a valley traffic officer assigned to a very specific task force. It's absolutely insane that you have an officer who was assigned to the street racing task force. Of all the task force in the department, they put him on the speed racing one. And what does he do? He's the one that's racing. He's the one that's speeding. He wasn't trying to stop one. He was doing it himself. Now, tonight, Pat, the two brothers are still hospitalized two and a half months after that crash. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are still recovering, have had many surgeries as well. By the way, I also want to point out that the LAPD should have released a critical incident video within 45 days of this crash. Mm -hmm. We are well beyond that 45 days. So far, the department has not released that video. The attorney I spoke with tonight says he also has not seen the video. All right, but I know you're staying on top of it, yep. Mike. Thanks for the update.